Today I have something a little bit different on my YouTube channel. What I have here is a short box with 150 comic books in it. So, let me tell you what this is really more in depth. Torpedo Comics out of Las Vegas, Nevada. For the past six weeks, two months, they go on Instagram Live every single day. And they do kind of like uh, Instagram Live sales and mystery boxes. And a few weeks back, um, late April maybe, they did six comic book short boxes for $200. Each box had 150 comics in it. And they said one of the six boxes will have a comic worth like 500 bucks, and I think it was. So my thinking was, even if all 150 comics are just junk comics, I can still recoup like my 150 back by selling them for a dollar a piece locally, which uh, that's how I sell a lot of my dollar books. I sell them locally in uh, several avenues. So I was like, no matter what, I can get my least 150 out of my $200 back. But I figured with, 200, or with 150 comics for 200 bucks, there's gotta be at least a few worth five, 10, $20 with that chance of getting one that's worth quite a bit. So I haven't seen anybody else open up this this short box of comics, so I don't know uh, what anybody else has gotten out of theirs. I don't know if this is just a one-time thing that they did, but pretty much the drummer for System of a Down, John, owns Torpedo Comics, and he was on their Instagram Live that day where he was like, look, I'm, I'm gonna do six comic book short boxes, 200 bucks a box, 150 comics, one person gets a $5 comic, go. And I claimed one, I actually was lucky to get the very last box, so. Oh, hold on. There's more tape on it. So I do not know what to honestly expect, but I mean, honestly, I'm expecting mostly just kind of like dollar comics. So hopefully they'll they sprinkle in maybe a couple decent hits, but I'm sure this is just a way for them to move a whole bunch of cheaper comics very quickly. And you know, I totally get that, but I was willing to take the chance and see what happens. Well, that's really cool. Inside of it, there's a big old thing that says Boom Studios. What is this? Oh. Did I open this thing up wrong? I think I did. Yeah, I opened it up. It was an upside down. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Give me a minute. Okay, so that's really cool. Okay, that's awesome. So this is the other, it's in this short box too. So the top of the box says Boom Studios. On the top and the side, you got the Power Rangers on that side, Power Rangers on that side. That's actually really cool. So let's find out what's in this. Let's, we'll, do this we'll do this together. We'll see the same time inside this box. Okay, okay. So I'm seeing a lot of, okay, so nothing in this is bag and boarded. There's one comic that's, ooh, I have one comic that's actually in a slab. We put that to the side. I don't wanna see that one yet. But so we do have one that's actually slabbed. I've got a slab. Ooh, that might be a good one. I don't know, so that's actually really exciting. So, um, Wow, here's all the comics. Uh, is there 150 in here? Maybe? I don't think there's 150 in here. I don't know, but uh, okay. Let me just pull out a stack. Let's start going through some comics. Let's see see what I got. Like I said, there's gonna be a lot of probably just common books in here. I got a freaking slab. I, I, I've got a slab, so there's something good no matter what. I'm just gonna burn through a lot of these just to get through them quickly. If I see anything, that strikes me, or if I see a cover that I know, ooh, that one's cool, that I know is valuable, I'll stop and pause, like a cool cover like this. I'll stop and pause for just a second. There's a wicked cover. Yeah, a lot of these I'm gonna have to look up later on and see um, values on a bunch of these. Actually, if you're watching this, and if you see a cover that I just missed whenever I was going through this, if it's something to value, please, uh, comment down below or reach out to me. Uh, well, that's a cool one. 
Oh, I'm keeping that one for sure. Look at that Bloodshot variant. Looks like a chrome cover. That's freaking awesome. But yeah, please feel free to reach out to me. Say, hey, Clint, you completely just bypassed a comic that was that was pretty valuable, or that one's worth 20 bucks or something. Wonder Man. Double trouble. Looks like we just kind of have uh, comics from... Things are all upside down, aren't they? Brilliant. Oh, this like looks like a double-sided comic. Brilliant and Powers. So stay tuned. Actually, I won't wait to the very end to do that slab comic. Some point during going through this box, we will do the slab comic. So if you skip around in this video, it's like the very end to see what the slab is. I'm going to tell you now, it won't be at the very end. It'll be somewhere in the middle of this video. I'm just American Vampire. I never heard of that one. I'm just going to do it. American Vampire. This, this one feels really weird. American Vampire. Bring it on. GI, here's older GI. Ooh, that one's cool. Exo Manowar. I'm keeping. Oh, that one's freaking awesome. Look at that. The whole thing's all chromed out. Freaking chromey right there. And then New Warriors. That's Nova on there. Okay. That's the, the first smallest pack of comics. Okay. We're not doing the uh, slab yet, but like I said, I won't wait to the very end to do the slab. I will, I'll do the slab at some point throughout this box. We're just going to do it. I could do it at any time. Break out the slab. Flashpoint. Secret Six. Secret Six. Yeah, a bunch of these, honestly, are like dollar comics. Some actually might be like 50 cent comics. Shadow of the Batman. There's an older one. Booster Gold. There's a classic. Ooh, nice. Here's an older Justice League of America, number 171. I'm keeping that. I like these older comics, you know. Silver Age, Bronze Age, the Super... I'm keeping this one, too. So it's kind of fun. I actually am finding some in the stack that I'm actually... I'm going to keep. The Wake, American Vampire, the Spectre, 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 <laughs> Superman... That one's kind of, wow, that's, you know, this one's been well-loved. <laughs> well-loved. Doctor Who on the back, Flash in the front. Ooh, that's a cool Justice League. Actually, I'll keep a lot of the Justice Leagues, Old Avengers. Actually, I'll probably keep a lot of the, oh, that's funny. The back of this, there's an ad with O.J. Simpson on it with the juice. Look at that. The juice says, show them your heels. O.J. Simpson, nine other pros recommend the new spot-built autograph to put you out in front. That's funny. Here's an advertisement with O.J. Simpson. It's an old Superman. Actually, I'm going to keep that one. Blue Beetle. Justice League. This is kind of fun. Actually, I'm seeing quite a bit of comics I'm actually going to keep. I would love for him to, like, surprise me put in, like, a freaking Batman Avengers number 12 or something like that. I know that's not going to happen. Two at once. A lot of this Spectre. Quite a few of those. Then Justice League. Justice League. Criminals. Yep. And Criminal. Yeah, I'm, I'm just blowing through these quickly. I know it, but there's quite a bit here to go through. And we've got a slab over there waiting. Waiting to be to be seen. But there could be some good just in these stacks of comics. Like here's an older Green Lantern. Cool. Wonder Woman. Here we go. We got some Marvel. Spider-Man. Superman Lois Lane at number one. One shot. The new 52. X-Factor. Powers. American Vampire. American Vampire. American Vampire. American Vampire. American Vampire. Vampire. Batman, nice, Batman, Batman, American Vampire, American Vampire, American Vampire, American Vampire, 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 I don't think these vampires are, I don't think these, these are actually worth anything, there's an Action Comics, cool, Spectre, Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman, X-Factor, and 
X Factor. Okay. So third stack complete. Oh. Go next stack. X Factor. X Factor. Yeah, so far I haven't really seen any comic that's like I've seen the cover. I'm like, oh yeah, that one's worth, you know, 10, 10 bucks, five bucks. I'm sure there probably has been some in here that I just completely missed. And you, the viewer at home watching this, you might actually have known something and said, oh, Clint, that Justice League number 171 was worth like $15. Awesome. I'm seeing a lot of comics I've never seen before. What's that? The Shade. Oh. Okay. The Shade. The Shade. The Shade. The Shade. That's the whole run of the Shade, I think. We got a Justice League. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Woman. Wonder Woman. Super. Action. Justice. Justice. Justice, Justice, with the Man of Aqua, the Wonder of Woman, the Super of Man, the Factor of X, the Factor of X, and it's time. Let's do it. Let's do the Slab comic. You ready? No peeking, no looking. There was no guaranteed Slab comic in this box. One person, they said we get a 500 comic. Did, did I actually get it? One out of the six boxes, they said would get a big expensive comic. Everybody else, I mean, it's possible this is only worth like, you know, this might be like a $50 comic or something. But one person was going to get something big. It'd be cool if, if I got something big out of this. But no matter what, I don't think there's, there, there's 150 comics here. I really highly doubt it. Supposed to be 150 comics for uh, $200. But if, if the slab has any kind of value to it, then I kind of get it because you can't fit the slab in there with 150 comics. You actually got to take out some comics to fit the slab in. And it, that, that's honestly fine. <laughs> that's fine. Okay, I think I'm there, fine, okay. I think I'm there. Okay, that's the backside there. You ready? Slab comic was not expecting a slab in this. You ready? I'm gonna show you first in three, two, one. What did I get? Oh, okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. We've got Amazing Spider-Man number 569, graded at 9.8 white pages. It is the variant. It is signed by Adi Granov. Uh, I might have butchered that. 8-18-18. This is Eddie Brock becomes anti-venom in this issue. Okay, that's not bad. So I didn't get the $500 comic out of this box, but they're, they actually have this priced at $300. Is it worth $300? I really don't know. That sounds a little bit high to me, but I'm not a professional grader. Let me actually see if I can pull up on my phone really fast. In raw grade, raw, the variant for this, it says it's worth about $50 in high grade raw. This is actually graded 9.8 white pages and it's signed by the artist who did the cover. So this actually probably has pretty good value to it, I bet, yeah. First appearance of Anti-Venom ended up being more of a major book than what I figured it was. This is the first appearance of Anti-Venom. And with the new Venom movie coming out, Venom 2, then I don't know if Anti-Venom's gonna be in that one, but there'll probably be a Venom 3 also, so we might actually be seeing uh, Anti-Venom in MCU. So this comic I actually will hold on to. I will not sell it at this time, but let me check eBay for some prices. So on eBay, I'm looking at this and I'm seeing sold prices, actual sold prices. Here's one that is not autographed as a 9.8 for 145, not autographed, sold for 199. It's the exact same one, 9.8 white pages, not autographed. This one's actually autographed by the artist. Sold for 200, here's one, same thing, not autographed, sold for 162, 9.8. Here's a 9.8, not autographed, sold for 174. And then a 9.8 not autographed sold for 220. So it's sold all the way from what 145 to 220, not autographed. This one is actually autographed. So I would say this is probably worth between 
200 to $250 for this comic. So this comic paid for my entire box. So a $30 price, that's obviously the comic book store price. Um, it won't sell for that much, but I, if it has sold for as high as $220 in the past couple months, unsigned, then one signed by the artist and authenticated, I bet you could go for maybe as high as $250. So this actually is probably going to be worth more than what I pay for the whole box, so make sure you're happy with that. So all these other comics, I can just sell these things for a buck a piece, and uh, I could actually turn a pretty good profit on this box, so I'm happy with this, but yeah. This is, I didn't realize that this is actually the first appearance of Anti-Venom. And so it's actually, is, is a decent key book actually. So I'm happy with that. We actually do have a small stack left of comics. So hold your horses now. We got actually two small stacks left. Which way's up, which way's down. Okay. Phantom. And I'm running out of room on my desk too. This, ooh, that's got... Weird stuff on the cover. It's like sticky. Spectre. More of the American Vampire. Vampire. An old Superboy. A 40 center Superboy. Cool. Detective Comics starring Batman at number 497. That's awesome. Oh, the back of this. Also, look at this in the back of this. More OJ Simpson advertisement on the back of this. How cool is that? How cool is that? This says, plus Barbara, Batgirl, Gordon, Murderer. But yeah, that's so, that's so funny. See, the bad thing you have, you have an ad for O.J. Simpson. <laughs> and then we've got Phantom Zone. we got The Man of Super on the cover. Batman and the Outside. we got some older comics here. A Superboy. I, I didn't see what that actually said. Stalker. That looks wicked. Action Comics. We've got a newer Superboy, and a Flashpoint, a Flash, Flash, Action Comics, cool. Victories, then we got Silent War, Hulk, I think is what it says upside down, Hulk, Hulk, Hulk. And Hulk, we have one very, very small stack left. Then right on top, we have Avengers. That's like one of the first Avengers we've gotten. Electro, that one's actually, or, oh, here's an older Iron Man. Ooh, nice. Iron Man versus Iron Man, number 192. That's from 1984. That one's cool. Yeah, I'm keeping that. Definite. Keep that Iron Man. G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. Oh, nice. Look at this. There's a fancy looking Iron Man right there. On the back of it is an ad for Super Nintendo Mystic Quest. This is Iron Man number 288 with a very cool. This is a 48 page anniversary special. Very cool page. Or page. Cover, I mean. Like a chromed out cover. I'm keeping that for sure. G.I. Joe. Iceman. G.I. Joe. We've got some more Batman. We have the Man of Bat. The Man of Bat. Man of Bat. The Man of Bat. Astro City. Just literally a few left. The Man of Bat. These are all like different directions, making it harder to go through. Okay. Project Superpowers. Plastic Man. Plastic Man. Iron Man. The Silencer. Silencer. The Wonder of Woman. And a Wonder Woman. And a Wonder Woman. That is the end. Oh, hold on. There's a couple on the bottom of the box. <laughs> bottom of the box. We've got X Factor. X Factor. X Look at this. So, on the back of this is an ad for old FLIR cards. Of course, you know, FLIR went out of business. They got bought up by Upper Deck. The back of this one, that's even, that's cool. Look at this. Freaking Biodome. I love that movie. It's kind of fun going through older comics. You'll see ads like this, and you're like, 
Biodome or OJ Simpson. So that's it. So this box cost me $200. And I got a big surprise hit out of this box. Did not expect. But I've got the first appearance of Anti-Venom. So that's actually, I didn't realize that. So I looked it up, researched it. Yeah, that's actually kind of a it's kind of a key book after all. So I'm excited about that. Nice. So 200 bucks. This comic paid for everything, plus pay a little bit more, and then all this other stuff is completely free. So I can sell all these comics here for you, 50 cents a piece. Probably get back at least 100 bucks, I bet. So yeah, this was a profitable box. So Torpedo Comics. This is actually the best mystery box I've gotten so far from them. And uh, this is 200 bucks. Like, I don't know if that was a one-time thing. I probably was. So that only sold six boxes, and I'm extremely happy with, with what I got. If this was not in the box, this box would have been, you know, not that great. I'd get my money back, but it wouldn't be that great. But with this in there, very happy. So I hope you enjoyed this. I had fun. I got a book I did not expect. So I'll see you next time. I'm out.